since I've been in Ghana more than seven months. The only people that corrupt Ghana is Nigeria. I think it's only twice that uh, we, uh, Nepal just cut off light. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. This is Nkem Doris. So guys, I'm here with another juice, another sweet story, gist. Still on the episode of Ghana and Nigerian talk. I am here to spew this with you guys so that we will analyze and talk more on what we think about this but before we dive right into the video have you subscribed to this channel if you've not please 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 subscribe to this channel okay where we share our minds we are here to entertain we are here to educate the public we are here to share our thoughts and what we think i will share my own thoughts regarding this video i'm about to play for you guys right now and you will share your own thoughts respectfully in the comment section as well so what do i bring for you guys today is about this particular guy that have spent seven months a nigerian guy that have spent seven months in ghana and he said a lot of things he has gathered so much experience that he shared in one of the social media platforms and i said ah my people needs to see this let's talk more about this so watch this video and i'll be right back the only people that corrupt ghana is nigeria i like eating nigerian food i didn't eat any Ghana food except from washi nigerian women are more beautiful so ghana jerof and Nigeria jerof which one is the best i think it's ghana jerof and the um, environment everywhere is always clean everything is just perfect very sweet wow ghana jollof is more best than better than nigerian jollof because of those these two things i mentioned scamming and prostitution mm. so ghanaian people sees nigeria or every nigerian as scammers but that's not it so according to this guy that we just watched that right now he has spent seven months in ghana he's a nigerian guy actually and he has spent seven months in ghana and uh, he spoke at a length but i want to talk more on this one that we just had right now he said that the only people that corrupt ghanaians and nigerians he's talking about he stayed there like the few months he has stayed there and what he observed that the only people that corrupt Ghanaians there are the Nigerians. That got me thinking and worrisome at the same time. I was like, where is this um, conclusion coming from? Is it from the interaction, the personal interaction that he had made with people over there for the past seven months that he has stayed there? Or has anything happened that made him to speak like that? Okay, so but you can corrupt whomsoever that don't want to be corrupted that is one thing i know you cannot change someone that don't want to be changed it's just like in a circle of friends there are some friends that you might be mingling with they might be womanizing they might be drunkards but personally you don't do that you don't want that what stops those people from influencing you it's your personal decision it's you saying no i don't want that no this person cannot influence me with his or her bad attitude. So I don't know where he got that uh, general or that conclusion that the people, although he was laughing while saying it, will I say that he was joking, but can he joke with that kind of thing? So that was why I'm saying maybe it's his personal experience, maybe with one or two persons that might have given him that illusion or that ideology that this is how it is. It might be true or it might not be true. Okay? Then he talked about uh, Ghana Jalof, that he made mention there that he cannot stay more than two days without eating it. In fact, he prefers Ghana Jalof to Nigerian Jalof. Yeah, everybody with his or her own test bots. The way you test things, the way I test things, there is something that we, you might bring a food here and say, okay, please test this food. The other person test this food. Mr. A might test the food and say, ah, this thing is too salty it's okay the other person might test it and say no it needs another salt that doesn't make the two of them bad food eaters no it's just their discrepancy it's just their kind of person it's just their test boards so this particular guy i will not say that because he said that he likes Ghana jollof more than nigerian jollof that makes him a uh, 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 perfect or no 
that is, is his own testable that that, oh, that 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 makes nigerian jollof not to be sweet like that of ghana ghana jollof is sweet nigerian jollof is sweet although i have not tested ghana jollof but i know that it they will all be sweet so and it depends on the person that prepared the food as well we have good cooks and we have bad cooks so it depends on the person that prepared the food it depends on the person that arranged that food it depends on the person that ah you know you know how these things work so from his own talk, from whatever that he has said, I think he's speaking from his own personal experience. You that might have visited Ghana before or any Ghanaian that have visited Nigeria before who have his own experience to share, okay? That doesn't stop anyone from sharing his own thoughts or saying his own mind or what he thinks or what, how he sees things, okay? I'm open to the kind of, like, you are free to your thoughts, you are free to your opinion, you are free to share things how you want it, but don't insult and don't castigate, okay? He's sharing it because he has spent some months and someone that has stayed seven months, going to one year, should have one or two things to say about a particular place that he has stayed. He's no more a kid, he's an adult, so he can say, okay, this is what I want, this is not what I want. And he also made mention of uh, some Ghanaians. Some, I, I didn't say all, oh, seeing some Nigerians there, maybe the ladies there as or oh, the guys there. That it's not good and it's not okay. Some people might be doing it or might not be doing it, but don't just generalize because that this person is a criminal. That doesn't make the whole country or the whole region or the whole state crimin criminals. No. One egg cannot come and spoil the whole eggs. No, it cannot. That particular egg is the bad one. You have to just remove it and throw it away. Other ones are still good, like in a crate of eggs. So I like what he said on that part that CEO, Ghanaians should not be seeing Nigerians as scammers. They should, they should not be seeing Nigerians as uh, 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 prostitutes like the ladies there. They might be, they might not be, but truth is that they should not be seen like it should not be generalized you understand yeah like i have used the fruit of eggs to explain what i want to say and uh in a crate of egg one egg might spoil yeah you won't even know you might be using other ones and they will be good get into that one you'll bring it out and you'll just break it and you'll notice ah this one has spoiled. It didn't affect other ones. It didn't make all the whole crate, all the eggs on, uh, in that crate to be to be bad eggs. No, they are all still good. So let's not generalize issues like this. What's your take? What do you think about what this guy said? What's what's your like your opinion? What do you have to chip in regarding what he said? I would love you all to drop it in the comment section respectfully. You know, everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion. Okay. Yeah, drop it in the comment section. Remember, this is in Doris TV. We will bring trending news, we will bring gist about these amazing countries. Subscribe to this channel and join this amazing channel okay so like up your weight next time bye